you want it. Yeah. Well, I think that's a good idea that you're transferring. We'll see how that goes. Go. I went to a place and got a martini. It was called Cherries in the Snow. Actually, you all probably know it. Um, it's bless you. It's the sneeze. It was a throwaway sneeze. It's called Cherries in the Snow. And it was like a white sauce martini. And they actually had like this red crushed cherry on the top. And if I go to other places, I ask about it. And they're like, we don't know that. We don't have it. I think that was like a specialty for that. Today. Yeah. And then we have Captain Waters. Everyone say ahoy, Captain Waters. Ahoy, Captain Waters. Just hang on. If you don't mind hanging down, I think I'm going to go sit up near the front and get better pictures. Okay. Okay. We'll leave it with Darlene in the picture. that mass woman. Cuba. Now, normally supplies are very good things for a 
is the Hugo Cemetery in all of its former glory. So beautifully maintained by the National Cemetery Association of America. watching a man die, it's perfect. As we all gather around for this grand execution, we shall have an executioner every other name and- And oh, <laughs> You have been found guilty of the crime, piracy. And you have been sentenced to die <laughs> on the garrote in the town square. I have already run the rope through the hole in the post behind the pirate. Now, I bring the rope around your seething throat and tie it to a wooden baton behind the post. With each turn of the baton, the rope will slowly go tighter until you die of suffocation. <laughs> smiling, why is he smiling? <laughs> bleed, bleed! Yes, ha ha, you won't be smiling then, will you, pirate? Ah, or we could try for my favorite, and surely yours, decapitation. Yes, yes. yes. And if all goes well, we'll be treated to tea and cookies at the governor's. No cookies for pirates, starting in the city. You might be there in spirit. <laughs> but the governor was the very happiest of all to see this terrible pirate, no offense, put to death for his crimes against St. Augustine. He would even actually encourage most people to place bets on how many turns of the rope it would take for the pirate to die. And for most people, it would average around 60 to 70 turns. But how many do we think it'll take Andrew Ransom? Shout out your guesses. 30. 30? The more turns of the rope, the more pain for the pirate. That's what we want. Think big! 54. 54. I'm hoping for a hundred person. We'll see. No offense. We just like high numbers here. It's okay. Why do y'all hate me? I'm sure. All right. With the first turn of the rope, the coarse braided fiber bit into Ransom's neck. And yet, <laughs> he remained eerily cheerful. <laughs> With the second turn of the rope, someone in the crowd realized Ranson was holding rosary beads. What would an English pirate be doing with Catholic rosary beads? Very strange. Third turn of the rope, Ransom began gasping for air. <laughs> Fourth turn of the rope. <laughs> the rope finally tore his skin. The blood began. Fifth turn of the rope. Ransom's eyes bulged from his head. Sort of. Sixth turn of the rope. <laughs> the, the rope? Broke! And Andrew Ransom took in a huge breath of air. Okay. And the crowd, as one, gasped <gasps> and held motionless until a priest stepped forward. <laughs> declared for everyone to hear, we have seen a miracle! As the priest escorted Ransom to the steps of the Catholic Church across the plaza, once they reached the church, the priest granted Ransom sanctuary and the most important man in all of Florida was furious. 
Our governor! Oh! The governor had been chasing Ransom for years. Now, had him 80, 90 painful turns and he would be dead. But, 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 no. The governor sees Ransom on the steps of the Catholic Church, smiling. Andrew Ransom lived safely in our Catholic Church for many years. Some say even helping St. Augustine. I say to you, if he helped St. Augustine, it was to further his plans for revenge against our good governor. You remember I, I said Ransom was seen holding rosary beads. They'd been given to him the, the, the night before by a young girl. 